In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today you are in the beginning of uh, the month of Amshir. And normally the month of Amshir in the church we don't complete the all Sundays, especially this month of Amshir, because almost the Lent is entering. And when the Lent enter or the Lent of season come, we change the books and we read from the Katamaras of the, the Lent and we don't read from the, the books of Sundays, the normal Sundays. Uh, so that's why the month of Amshir is not getting uh, from the church to see the whole reading, the whole Sundays. That's why today I will explain to you the four Sundays and the meaning uh, of that so you can, we can uh, understand the message of the church this month. The whole month of Amshir speaking about satisfaction, how to be satisfied with the Lord, how to f be filled with the Lord. Uh, next Sunday, we have a feast, presentation of the Lord Jesus, next Sunday. So we will not read the normal reading of Amshir, we will read the, f the prayers or the reading of the feast of presentation of the Lord Jesus to the temple. So next week is a feast, minor feast. And the week after is the preparation of the Lent. So this is the only chance today we read from Sundays the book of Amshir. Let us see what, what is the church teaching us here. When the Lent enter, people start to get worried, to fear, Long days of fasting, long hour of fastings, matanias, a uh, lot of psalms, prayers, and hunger. People get hungry too much, think for food too much. That's why the church chose this reading today to change our mind, transform our ways, to change the way of thinking. And instead of we think about food and what kind we'll eat, what kind of drinks, what kind of whatever, it gave us the way how to be filled, changing our motives, changing our ways, how to be filled with the word of God, how to be filled with Jesus Christ, our saviors. And instead of to speak, as I said, about hunger, to speak about satisfactions, how to be satisfied with the Lord. Is this is our agenda daily, do you like to get satisfied with the Lord? Do you like to get fed by the Lord daily in your quiet time, in your reading, in, in your sitting with the Lord every day, in your Bible? This is the way the church is teaching us this couple of Sundays coming. There is different people, different kind of people come to Jesus. And today we see one of the examples. They came to Jesus today they saw him yesterday and he fed them. I'm assuming it was yesterday and today they came to the Lord. Oh Lord, we miss you. We miss you from yesterday. Sometimes we do that. We put mask and we say, Lord, where are you? We love you. We miss you. But Jesus knows the heart. Right? Jesus knows what is going on in the heart. Say, you really miss me? Do you really coming just to look for me or to look for the things I offer. And Jesus really was very harsh this time. And he spoke to them and he said, you are not coming because I miss you or you miss me. Sorry. I, I'm, you are coming because you have been filled. I feed you. You are not coming for the sign. You are coming because you filled, you have been, your stomach is full, food. That's why the people followed him today. And Jesus gave the harsh statement, do not labor for the food which perish, but labor for the food which not perish for eternal life. This is the important of today. The message of today, 
do we work for the food which not perish or perish? It's a question. It need me and you to think about it and to recalculate again your priorities, your necessities, your schedule of life. What's, what is your motive in life? What's move you every day? This kind of food which will perish or what kind of food are we looking? This is today. Next, we're supposed to read next week the feeding of the 5,000. Next Sunday. But as I said, we have a feast. So instead of this reading, we will read the feast, the feast reading. The, the, the miracle of the 5,000 uh, from five bread and two loaves, you know this miracle very well. It speaks about satisfaction also. It speaks about when someone forget about himself, sitting with the Lord, talking to him, taking from him, get filled by him, and he forgot himself. God said at the end, do not let them to go empty like that. Feed them the food, the normal food. When you forgot yourself, this is kind of people. Are we the same? When we really spend the time with the Lord, in our relationship with the Lord, is getting intimate, getting close, and I spend quality time with the Lord, the Lord never forget my needs. Is that true? True or not? God never, ever forget our daily needs. This is the kind of people whom they met the Lord. They sat with him for three days and night, learning from him, and no one was complaining when is the break time? What time we'll have tea break? What time we'll have snacks? What time we'll have uh, rest, quiet? What time we'll get quietness from Jesus? We need to have our own free time from Jesus. No one said that. Everyone was focused. And I pray that this is our focus this coming days, this coming season of Lent, this coming days of fasting of Jonas, and it was which will start tomorrow. I pray that all of us focus to get connected and to get closed to the Lord Jesus for himself, not for what he gave us, not for what he provided to us. This is the second Sunday. The third Sunday, which is suppose normal days, as I said, the church teach us how important to be filled by his body and his blood, which the church offer every liturgical prayers. The body and the blood of our Lord is the most important food, most important food for our nourishment of the spirit and also for our healing. When, when the deacon at the end or abuna at the end of the prayer say given for forgiveness, of sin and eternal life who partake of him. Every time we come and participate in his body and his blood, we are receiving forgiveness of sins. We are receiving a new life. This is the third Sunday. We come to the fourth Sunday of nourishment and satisfaction also. He speak about the story of the chaos when the chaos was really dreaming and he jumped on the tree and I see, I wanna see Jesus. I wanna enjoy Jesus. I wanna meet him. I wanna shake hand with him. Jesus said, not only shaking hand or not only looking at me, today, Zakka or the chaos, I will spend the night. Today, I will spend the whole night and it will be a feast. I will come to your house. Anyone come with this mentality? I won't see you, Lord. I won't enjoy your present. Jesus will say, and me too. Me too, I love you. Me too, I want to spend the time with you. This is the first Sunday. The chaos is teaching us 
When I meet the Lord, I need nothing. Not only that, Zacchaeus was satisfied for the meeting of Christ. And he said, Lord, I need you only. Many times we, we sing this song, I need you, O Lord, or without you, I need nothing. But do we mean it that? Zacchaeus meant that, and he said, Lord, all what I have gained, all the food which I received in my safe in my life, I'm getting rid of it. Zacchaeus was doing for the food which perish. How many house was crying because of Zacchaeus? How many person was praying that Zacchaeus to die? How many person was really, when he hear about the name of Zacchaeus, he, he runs away? How many? How many he, he banished un, unjustly? How many people suffered because of him? Say, Lord, today, I'm no more. I am no more this person. This is the story of every one of us. When we meet really the Lord, should change or not? When we come to church and take and participate in the body and the blood of the Lord, and we hear his voice in the reading, we shouldn't change or not. We should change. Our way should change. Our, our thinking should change. So Zacchaeus was working unrighteousness, unjust, evil. He was, he was really doing evil action. When Jesus entered to his life, say, Lord, no more. I pray this is also to be the same of us. If any one of us here living unrighteousness life or evil life or any evil manner or plans in his life or in her life, please let us do like Zacchaeus today. With you, Jesus, only I need you. Today, the reading, let's come back to the reading of today. So this is the four Sundays we, which we're supposed to read them. But today, reading has for us advice. St. Paul, today, in the first statement he mentioned to us today, he said to us, in the first line of his message today, he said, now I have written to you not to keep company with anyone named brother who are sexual immorality. And he gave us a big list, big list of evil people doing evil. There is different between sinners and door of evil. These people plan evil. These people both people, stumbling people by activities like that. All of us sinners, all of us we sin and we fall, but the grace of God always there for us to help all of us. But such people, St. Paul say, please do not have company with them. But we need also wisdom. How we do not keep company and how we show them the way of Christ. How we leave these people in darkness and we are here to witness Christ. We should. We should ask the Lord to give me wisdom. We should ask the Lord what direction I should deal with my colleague who or she homosexual or gay or lesbians or this kind of people. How can we deal with such people? How we should encourage them to know the way, not to judge them. It needs wisdom. It needs God's direction from all of us. So the first, the first things today from the reading of today, St. Paul is advising everyone, advising every one of us to be careful from such relationships. Second, the church in the same reading today is giving us advice today advice Jesus is advising 
and St. Paul is warning. Jesus is advising every one of us to work for the food, watch, not perish. We should work for that. And St. Paul is, a, is warning, say, be careful from such, from such behavior, from such people who behave like that. We need to be careful from that. St. Paul, St. Paul warn everyone, be careful from cheating. Do not cheat. How many? How many use these methods in life? Cheating in work, cheating in home, cheating in his children, cheating his best people, his best friend. Cheating, it's evil, evil work. This is the food which perish. People cheat in business. People cheat in work. They come late and they go early. Cheating, people cheat in things all of us, if we mentioned what kind or how many, how many lists under cheating, I'm sure everyone will say one different. I'm sure if I say start from here to the end of the church, everyone will say one kind of cheating different from others. Unrighteousness, unrighteousness work. St. Paul is warning everyone today. Let us look at the pictures as a whole. We need to go to heaven. We need to be connected to heaven. We need to get rid of this food of which is bearish and righteous life, evil life. How much my house need care? How much my wife and my husband need my care and I don't do? Can we call that cheating or not? Can we call it cheating? How much my kids are suffering alone from peer pressure, from pulling, from stuff outside in the school, and I don't care. This is a cheating or not cheating? This is evil or not? How much I am busy to make money and my kids are perishing outside? How much I am making money and my wife need my compassion, my love, my intimacy? How much? My husband need respect at home and need to feel that this is his house and the wife cheating on him by dealing with him in a godly way. How much we have this in our homes. Let us guys wake up. Let us, let us measure with the measurement of the Bible. No cheaters, no evil. I will not read it because I don't like to hear this, what St. Paul said, but please read it back when you go back home. Look at the list. I am sure I'm one of this. The church is warning today. Church is waking every one of us today. Yet I pray that we offer repentance to the Lord. The Lord Jesus said the advice and St. Paul gave the warning. He's warning us, be careful. Be careful from evil. Be careful from things. It blinds you. It blocks you. It, it damages your relationship with God and at home. I pray that we starting tomorrow, the, I will call it the early Lent, because the church is giving us the mood, the prayer late, the full psalms, prayers, songs, which is give us the direction to repent. Church is teaching us from tonight, repent and stop evil and look carefully how you deal at home with your parents, with your wife, with your husband, with your kids. May God bless us and accept our prayers and accept our repentance. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.